you or will you? Maggie Roll says there was no question for her whether or not to get the H1N1 vaccine. I've never had any problems with flu shots in the past, and this one's supposed to be as safe as the previous flu shots. So it wasn't a hard decision for me. And in just a few seconds and a couple of quick squirts of nasal spray, Maggie became one of the first Lexington Fayette County Health Department employees to receive the H1N1 vaccine Tuesday afternoon. The health department received 3,000 doses in the first shipment, and 75 of them were set aside to be offered first to frontline health care workers. This is not for the public. You don't need to show up at the health department or your doctor's office wanting to get a shot or the vaccine. This is for health care workers in the first targeted group. More information will come out as soon as this is available to go to the general public. Outside the health department, representatives from other health clinics, hospitals, and physicians' offices came to pick up allotments of the vaccine for their own workers. Our primary goal right now is to take care of the people who take care of the sick. The vaccines are voluntary for health department employees, but health officials stress choosing not to be vaccinated offers little or no protection against swine flu. Right now, H1N1 is in Lexington. You're he hearing about it in the schools, you're seeing it in doctor's offices, and this is one of the best ways, if not the best way, to stay safe is through the vaccine. Go ahead and get it, uh, and just wash your hands a lot. Try to stay healthy otherwise.